Hi everyone, welcome to our first video lecture for COM 2045 Public Speaking. This class will be a hands-on, project-driven course with a light reading load. You're going to be learning a lot of extremely useful, practical skills that are directly going to translate and therefore benefit you in your personal and professional lives. Now, a quick note. I've recorded this new course overview lecture, the one you're watching right now, in December of 2020. The remaining video lectures were recorded this summer. As such, should I happen to make a reference to something that seems slightly outdated, or let's say I refer to something being due in June or July, that's not the case. Read the syllabus, trust the syllabus, the dates on there are correct, and they all correspond to what's on D2L. I'll be posting a more informal introduction of myself in the coming days, wherein I appear on camera so you get a sense of who it is exactly that you're dealing with this semester. But for now, and in most of the video lectures, I'm going to be a disembodied voice. So who am I? I'm Dr. Matthew L. Hale but you can call me Dr. Hale, Dr. H, Professor Hale, and when you graduate, please feel free to call me Matt. Okay, so let me tell you what we're gonna be doing in this video lecture. To begin, I'll tell you about the resources that you're gonna need to successfully complete this course. Those are also outlined in the course syllabus, so check that out. Next, I wanna highlight the three major assignments that sort of hold the class together and around which all of our collective efforts are gonna be organized. Finally, I'll give you a quick rundown of the course syllabus. First things first, you're going to need a few things to be able to successfully complete this course. We're using the second edition of a Speaker in Progress as our textbook that's available to you for free to view and download on the course website. In addition to that free textbook, you'll need access to some means of recording your presentations. I need to be able to both see and hear you, so you'll need to have access to a smartphone or a webcam, whether it's an external device or a potato quality camera and a laptop or desktop computer. You'll also need a YouTube account, and potentially you might also download and explore a free software called OBS, or Open Broadcaster Software, which is available for both Windows and Mac. With something like PowerPoint, Keynote, or some other presentation software, OBS, and a webcam, you can produce some really professional looking content that will result in better performance in subsequent course presentations and in your working careers. All right, so this brings us to the syllabus. Please review the syllabus in its entirety. I'm just gonna give you highlights here. It's very easy to find on our course website. I wanna bring your attention to just a few things on the syllabus. My pronouns are he, him, his. Although my birth name is Matthew, I don't really feel like a Matthew. I go by Matt in just about all contexts except in writing. So saying this, if you would like me to call you something other than what's listed on the official roster on D2L or in One Stop, which is almost certainly gonna be your legal name, just send me an email with any name or pronoun preference or frankly anything that you might need. Just shoot me an email and we'll talk. If you need any sort of accommodation, please contact the folks in Disability Services and they'll work with me to help you in whatever way that we can. You can communicate with me in a number of ways. The preferred method is going to be using email. My official APSU email is hail at apsu.edu. If that fails, you can also send me a text, but please do text rather than call. We can always set up time for a phone call or a video conference, but I have anxiety about talking on the phone and lots of other things in life, and I have to mentally prepare for it. If you email me and I don't respond within 24 hours, email me back, feel free. That will most likely not happen as I check my email compulsively throughout the day. But again, if it does, just send me another email. Now with regards to participation and expectations in the class, I'll make this part short and simple. You need to participate in class. That means being online, doing assignments, turning things in on time, that's the big one, and so on. It's your responsibility to submit assignments in the correct file format, in the right place, and again, on time. No late work is is accepted. Late work is going to receive an automatic zero. Now, I'm a human being too, and life gets in the way sometimes, case in point COVID-19. So if you need anything, just send me an email and let's talk. I don't know what I don't know, so don't assume I know you're struggling or confused or sick or having any sort of issues. Tell me, I want to help. Again, I generally reply to emails rather quickly because I have no life and now more so than ever since I'm trapped at home. If I miss your email or don't reply within 24 hours, just resend it. Okay, on this page of the syllabus, I've laid out all of the assignments, their individual point values, as well as their overall value for your final grade, and to the very far right are the due dates for everything. The second chart will help you convert your numerical grade into your letter grade, which is how final grades are reported to the registrar at the end of the semester. Lastly, here is our course calendar. Give this a look on your own. Read through it carefully each day 
day you'll need to read or watch the assigned content for that day. So where you see M in parentheses equals Monday, T equals Tuesday, and so on. The word read indicates that you have to read something for that day. Video lectures are the videos that I've produced for you. Click on the link on the syllabus or you can find them on the course website and watch them. And as you can see on December 18th, for example, the word due in bold indicates that you have an assignment due that day. I always have assignments due at 11.59 p.m. via Dropbox. Over the next four weeks, you are going to improve your oral communication skills with a particular emphasis on public address in the context of digital communication technologies. Basically, this is a public speaking class, but rather than viewing online instruction as a hurdle that we have to overcome, I think we instead ought to lean into that. So I like to think of this class less as a traditional public speaking course and more as public speaking for digital communication or whatever you might want to call it. Over the semester, you will deliver three speeches in total, a brief introduction, a media or product review, and finally, we'll end our time together with an argumentative or persuasive speech. For the final two speeches, you'll produce a brief proposal and an outline, and in the case of the persuasive speech, you're also going to create a clean, concise, and professional visual aid. Okay, we did it. We made it through our first video lecture. Video lecture number two, entitled How to Introduce Yourself Effectively and Efficiently, will teach you how to do just that. While I know no one really enjoys introducing themselves, and if you're anything like me and you suffer from social anxiety, it can be a rather unpleasant experience, or at bare minimum, the waiting to introduce yourself can be kind of unbearable, but it is a useful and required skill in daily life. And like any skill, you can practice and refine it over time and with some care. And that's it for this video lecture. Thanks. Bye.